welcome back to Ariana Today we are doing something so cool. We are visiting little libraries that that I found while we were just driving the car. Cause as soon as we found out about little libraries, we started seeing them everywhere. A little library is a tiny house like made out of wood where they put, so people put books that they don't want anymore and then other people can come with books that they don't want anymore and they could take a book from the little library and they could exchange it for one of those books that they don't want anymore. Little libraries can be found all over the community and some of the ones that I've seen look like they've been done by Girl Scouts. Today, we are going to go on an adventure to five little libraries so I can exchange some of the books that I don't want anymore. So I'm gonna show you those books now. Here are the five books that I am going to be exchanging. I most likely am exchanging these books because I, like one of them I don't really like or another like I've read so many, 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 many times that I don't think I'll read them again. And then another one is like one for children that are just starting to read because I feel like sometimes the little libraries don't have books that kids could really read because sometimes they have more higher levels. So I wanna put in books that kids can actually read. The first book that I'm going to be exchanging is called The Root Queen's Dream. I am exchanging this book because I've read it so many times that I don't think I'd really read it again. Like I remember like if we went in the car, I would always take this book because I knew it was an easy read and I could finish it in the car. And I think other kids would really enjoy the story because it's a really good story. My next book is called The Great Sharp Shark Escape by the Magic School Bus. I want to give this book away is because I started reading it and I'm not really that interested in it because as soon as I started reading it, like maybe I got up to maybe page 15, 16, 17, and I didn't really like it at all. I really feel like that other kids would really enjoy this book though, because a lot of kids are into the Magic School Bus series, and yeah, I feel like they would really enjoy it. My third book that I will be exchanging is called Horrible Harry Moves Up to Third Grade. Um, This book was brand new from my aunt. I read it once, and I like the story, it's just, that I didn't really like it that much. Like the Root Queen, I really loved. But this one, I liked, but don't like that much. So I feel like other kids would enjoy this better than me. My last two books that I will be exchanging are I can read books because like I said, I feel like children really want to read books that like aren't chapter books sometimes. Like if they're just starting to read, Sometimes it's like sad if they go up to like a little library and they're so excited to get a book and then there's no books for their age level. So I wanna put these in somewhere so um, they have some books to read. So this one is called Pinkalicious School Rules. I remember reading this book and I really enjoyed it. So I think another kid would really like it too. And then my second one is called Amelia Bedelia on the Move. This is very funny because Amelia Bedelia is a very funny character and she's very interesting too because you, cause sometimes kids get to learn new meanings of things that they probably won't know because Amelia Bedelia sometimes gets confused on things. So she learns new things. And I really also enjoyed this book because it was really fun and I think other kids would like it too. So these are the books that I'm exchanging and let's go to the little libraries. We're on our way. I'm so excited. I have my books in my bag and I'm ready to go. Here we go. Yes. So this is our first little library and it's actually so funny because this is actually located in the playgrounds of my school. After browsing through all of these books, I think I'm going to take Who Was Rosa Parks? by Yona Zeldis. And in return, I'm going to leave The Root Queen's Dream. On to the next to the library! Aha! I 
found this other one in a local park near my house. It says, this is a mini library. Feel free to take a book, but please return it or leave another in its place. It says it was done by Troop 113 in 2021. That's this year. So this little library is all new for our community to enjoy. Today, I'm going to take one and leave one of my old ones in its place. As you can see, there are different levels of reading in here. Like there's some for grown-ups and there's some for kids. Like here, it's like who was a millionaire Earhart, who was Jane Goodall. Um, here's another kid one called the Tower Treasure. Oh, and look, I have this book at home. It's a really good story. I think I'm going to take this book called Who Was Amelia Earhart by Kate Bowen. And in its place, I'm going to leave The Great Shark Escape. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Found one. I found another one and it's also in a local park. I think local parks are very good locations for little libraries like this one because a lot of people come here a lot to play and they can still have fun on the playground while they can get some books. So it's really fun. And this one is really pretty. So look, this is like a design all around. Oh, and look on this side. Look. It's like a little girl reading a bunch of books. Oh, look at this side. So it's pretty. And then this side too. It's like a little tree. It's pretty. Tree. It looks like this is also done by a Girl Scout troop. By the way, I forgot to mention before, if you ever want to look for little libraries around your town, just go to littlefreelibrary.org and then it shows you a map of all the cool little libraries around your town. Look at these books. What's this one? What is this? A dog's journey. Poison tree. Ooh. Oh, look, there's a Star Wars run. It's called A Test of Court Courage. Like I said before, in some little libraries, there are books for all ages and all reading levels. But in this one, I'm mostly seeing some for grown-ups. So sometimes you don't have to pick a book. You can also just donate. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. So I am putting in Horrible Harry moves up to third grade. I hope that some kid enjoys that book. Let's go. For the next little library, we have to drive a little farther. But it's only in the town next to ours. So it's not that far. We didn't need the map to find this one because one day we were driving by and we just spotted it and it looked really big. So it's gonna be really fun, yeah. Wow. Look at this cool one, it's so big. As you can see, it has multiple little boxes with a bunch of different books inside. Let's open this one. Children Writer's Word Book, second edition. That's a cool one. Look at this book, it's called Hound at the Hospital. So this is like laughs for people that have ever forgotten something like, how oh, where did I put my keys? And then they're right in your pocket. <laughs> like, oh wait, right they're right here. <laughs> As you can hear, this box is in a very, very busy area, so I apologize if you can't hear me that much. <laughs> so far, I like this book the best, Shoe Wars. But I'm gonna check every drawer so I can see if there's any other books that I might enjoy. This is also a good book. It's called Greetings from Somewhere. 
the mystery of the icy conference. I like these two so far. Let's check another drawer. All of these books up here look like they're there for older kids. So let's check this drawer. Two boxes are for adults and older kids, but these bottom ones have a few kids' books, so I think I'm going to be taking Living Maddie and Shoe Wars. And in their place, I'm going to leave Amelia Odelia on the move because there's not that many uh, that's there's not that many kids' books, so I'm gonna add it to that. Now let's go to our last box. We pass this street every week on our way to dance and we never noticed there was a little library until we knew that little libraries existed. This is our last little library. It's in a very busy road so I'm kind of shouting. <laughs> Um, I'm not really interested in them because they're either for children who are just starting to read or grown-ups. See, like, over here, this is all grown-up. So I'm only leaving a book called Pinkalicious Schools. We are back! I hope you enjoyed this amazing adventure to go find little libraries. Now, here are my final choices. My first one is called Liv and Maddie, Sisters Forever. My second one is called Shoe Wars by Liz Pishon. My third one is called Who Was Rosa Parks by Yona Zeldes. And then my last one that I got is called who was Amelia Earhart by Kate Boehm. I am so excited to read all these books, and as soon as I finish reading them, I will tell you all about them. I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure. Tune in next week for another amazing episode. Remember, smash the subscribe button and like my videos. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can get my notifications when I post my next video. See you in the next episode. Bye, stop!